In this problem, we're told that p is a number bigger than 1, and we have to find this infinite sum. Let's go ahead and go through this solution. So if p is bigger than 1, then if we divide both sides by p, that tells us that 1 is bigger than 1 over p. Or in other words, 1 over p is less than 1. So we know that 1 over p is less than 1. So we have a geometric series. So now we can find the sum, right? Because uh, r here is equal to 1 over p. And recall that if the absolute value of r is less than 1, then the geometric series converges. So the absolute value of r is just 1 over p, because p is positive, and that's certainly less than 1. So this certainly converges. So let's go ahead and do it. It's 1 over p plus 1 over p squared plus 1 over p cubed plus and then dot, dot, dot. Okay, so the way to do this is to use a formula. And so the formula is actually really easy once you know how it works. The formula says you take the first term, no matter what it is, and it goes up top. So 1 over p. And then on the bottom, you divide by 1 minus r. We established already that r is 1 over p. So this is 1 minus 1 over p. If you're not convinced that this is geometric, um, you can write it like this. 1 over p plus 1 over p squared plus 1 over p cubed. So you see it really is you know, r to a power, you know, r to the first power plus r to the second power plus r to the third power. So it's certainly geometric. And again, you just take the first term, plug it in, and then just divide by 1 minus r. This always works for every geometric series. This will always give you the sum. So this is equal to 1 over p over, and if we want to perform the subtraction down here, let's think of 1 as p over p. So p over p minus 1 over p. So this is equal to 1 over p over, and now we can subtract straight across because the denominators are the same. So this is p minus 1 over p, just like that. Good stuff. And then we're dividing. So when you divide, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So this is 1 over p times the reciprocal of this piece, which is p over p minus 1. These cancel, and so you're left with 1 over p minus 1, and that is the sum of the series. Not a hard problem if you know the formula, right? Again, the formula says when you have a convergent geometric series, you just take this and it goes up top always. Then you just divide by 1 minus r. It will always give you the correct answer in a convergent geometric series. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.